This is 814 and it entails a car driving around at a bank and it's at a constant velocity. It's driving at a constant velocity. And what we're looking to find is the steepest angle theta that the car can navigate so it doesn't tip over, right? So it doesn't, this wheel doesn't come off the ground and tip over or slide down the incline here. So those are the two things that we're, we're looking for in this case. So we have to kind of analyze this in two different ways. We have to analyze the tipping case and we have to analyze the slipping case. So let's analyze the tipping case uh, here. So as this starts to tip, what happens is, you know, the normal force here will be equal to zero. So as the wheel comes off the ground, if the wheel's not touching the ground, right, the normal force is zero, right? There's no force being pushed back on the car. So um, right when it starts to tip, that normal force becomes zero there. So really all we have here for the tipping case is the normal force at A, and then we also have the frictional force, which is mu sub s times Na down here, okay? And um, we know mu sub s is 0.4, and we're also given the mass of the car, which is 1.6 megagrams, which is 1.6 times 10 to the third kilograms. So let's zoom out here and let's perform some calculations. All right. So um, to analyze this situation, what we need to do is have a free body diagram, and which we have, and then we're gonna take the sum of the moments around A, and those should be equal to zero in an equilibrium case. So we're gonna call counterclockwise positive, and A is this point down here where the lower wheel's touching the ground. So neither this frictional force or the normal force are gonna create a moment about A, all right? And neither is NB because we just said NB is zero. So really all we have is this W here, the weight of the car. And uh, so if we have the kind of the, the component that goes this way, right? Okay, so the component that goes that way is W cosine theta. So that's around A, that's gonna create a clockwise moment, which is gonna be negative. So we have W cosine theta, and the distance that that is acting away, if this whole distance is five feet, that's half of that, which is two and a half. And then we also have this other component here, that component, and that is acting, I should draw it up here, we have the horizontal component here, and that is acting two and a half feet away, and that's going to create a counterclockwise moment, so that will be positive, so that's W, and that dist is the sine of that angle, sine theta times 2.5, and that is equal to zero. Now what we do when we, we, we have, we can simplify this equation, we can move this part to the other side. So we have W sine theta times 2.5 equals W cosine theta times 2.5. Our 2.5s cancel on both sides. Actually our Ws cancel as well. So we have uh, sine theta equals cosine theta. And if you know uh, when that happens, or you can uh, solve this as tangent theta is equal to one, that's the other way to write this because sine over cosine is the tangent. Um, so that happens when theta is equal to 45 degrees. So sine of an angle and cosine of an angle are equal when theta equals 45 degrees. So that is the tipping. This is for tipping. So the car is tipping over uh, if the angle is 45 degrees, which is 
As you notice here, the W's canceled. The weight didn't come into play at all in this example. It canceled each other out. So when you're talking about tipping over a car, it has nothing to do about the weight of the car. It only has to do with the geometry that you see here, okay, which is kind of cool. All right, now let's analyze the slipping. Okay, so for this, we're gonna analyze the slipping. Let's make our coordinate system at an angle here. So we can make a coordinate system any direction we want. Let's put it at an angle, and I think this will simplify the calculations a little bit. So we're gonna sum the forces in the x direction and set those equal to zero. So in this x direction, which is uphill, what we have is 0.4 in, that is the uphill, and then we also have a component of this W, which will be in the negative direction, this horizontal component here, which will be W uh, sine theta, and that will be equal to zero. All right, now let's, let's solve for the sum of the forces in the Y direction. So the Y direction is this direction here. Let's move down a little bit. And we have, in the y direction, we have n pointed up. And then we have a component of w pointed down, which will be w cosine theta. And what else? Do we have any other forces there? It doesn't look like it. So we have uh, this, these two equations here. And if we solve for, let's say... We can solve for W here. So in the second equation here, we have W equals N divided by cosine theta. And we can plug that back into this equation. So we have 0.4 N minus N divided by cosine theta times sine theta equals zero. Now this here, sine divided by cosine, that is tangent of theta. So we have 0.4 n minus n tangent of theta equals zero. Okay, let's move uh, n tangent theta to the other side. So we have 0.4 n equals n tangent theta. and our ends cancel out, we have tangent theta equals 0.4, and we come out with theta, if we do the inverse tangent there, is 21.8 degrees. So we had to analyze this in two different ways, the slipping condition and the tipping condition, and what we find out is it's going to tip at 45 degrees, it's going to slip, start slipping down the hill here, at 21.8 degrees, so it will slip before it tips over. And that is the solution here, theta equals 21.8.